I'm going to be taking a look at another PC Core, uh, PC Engine Core Graphics. And this was sent over to me by Dean from Man Cave Retro Gaming. And Dean says, Steve, many thanks for replying to my email and agreeing to replace the USB controller chip after my failed attempt. As my pick, the console still powers up without the chip attached. Hopefully I've not completely ruined it. Many thanks, Dean. So Dean did send me a couple of pictures and it looks like he's torn some traces trying to remove the old USB controller chip. He was inspired, I'm not sure that's the right word, by the video that I did, which is somewhere, and tried to do the same thing, but uh, he failed. And this is the chip here, I presume, in this little baggie. So I think before I go any further, I want to just make sure that it does power on, like he says. I mean... I'm not calling you a liar, Dean, but for my own peace of mind, so that when I make it explode, then we know that it was my fault. This also gives me an opportunity to try out this thing that the lovely Kip Hake sent me. Doesn't it look like a sports car? Wow. And Kip says here, Dear Mr. Sticksfix, as promised, here's the USB 4K capture card for you. It should hopefully meet all your video capturing needs. Please try not to be too overwhelmed by its sports star Kyling. Don't try and drive it, it doesn't work. Don't ask me how I know. Stupid, misleading sports car styling. Thanks so much for all the awesome content. Keep doing what you do. Much love. Kip Hakes off of the internet. Thank you, Kip. I'll put a link to Kip's channel in the description below. Go check him out. He's a lovely man. Not in that way. Mm. Right, well, let's plug this in. And let's plug in the sports car styling USB capture card. And let's see what happens. Okay, let's power it on. Yes, there we go. And hopefully, you can see that on the capture card, can you? I don't think it's working. It's flashing. Have I done something wrong? Right, there we go, it's recording now. I can, I can see it over there. And you can see it over there. And you can probably also see it on the capture card. Here. <laughs> it's far too complicated, this. Right, so it does still come on. So let's take it apart. Now what you see is not a test, he's dismantling. And he and his stupid face are gonna try to fix this thing. See, I am VOS and I like to say hello to Flux Kip Hakes, Badger Squatch, and Monkey Joe Tokyo. But first I gotta thank, thank the Bemos to the Titus, the Jam Mike to the Lugu to the Adam Taylor. Let's rock. Veroki, rock with Jonathan Wiggs, so low-key Well, so far you've heard my voice, but I brought a friend along And next on the mic is my man LPS, yo LPS sing that song Check it out, I'm the L-I-V-E, performing Steve Please don't ask me why You see, I go by the code of the doctor of the fix And these reasons make me pretty fly I'm the E, Daniel Terry, Oz Newton And Diamond Sloan is D It won't base be money and hard and larger infinity. We got John Prushek, Paul Bailey, and give Keisha chance. We got Stump and Fuhr, Fergus Stritton. I know he's not from France. So, Sarah Cat, Shaky McTwitch, Dr. Wizard, Ken Goldberg, Harry Music Musings, Dr. Frankenstein, and SJ Wood Walker. Hear me talking about Western and Sons, Mark of S19, Mick Adams near the end. Get the money, kill switch, man, and retro gaming. I've already said it, but let's pretend. Everybody go monkey jump, Tokyo. What you gonna do today? I'm gonna wish y'all peace, prosperity, and bow out graciously. Okay, and this is the area here, and I can see what well, appears to be some pulled pads. So let's get this under the microscope and let's have a closer look. Look, Luke. Okay, so it looks like we've got one here and two here, but those two look like no connects to me. So I think it is only this one. In which case, that's quite lucky. Okay, so in theory I could put the new port on and I could just need to run a little jumper to the bottom of this resistor here. So let's clean this up. Let's wick away what we can. Some more of these pads might come off when I do that. Like that one. 
Uh, and if they do, then yeah, they obviously weren't fit for purpose. I hope that one doesn't come off actually, because that goes under the chip. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Lost another one. Yeah, okay, they're all coming off. <laughs> but like I say, that means they're not fit for purpose. I'm not brushing aggressively here. It looks like all the top ones seem to be okay. It's just down here. We are going to have to run quite a few jumpers, I think. Just going to apply some flux and then some leaded solder. And then I'm going to see what happens when I try and wick this solder away. Bosh. Right, let's see what happens when we apply some hot air to this bad boy now. Looks like one of the legs is actually bent on the chip. This one here, yes it is. I'm going to have to sort that out, I think. Yeah, we risk getting a bridge there without sorting that out. I think that's okay. Right, let's try again. Right, let's do the solid test. Solid. 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 Right, clean it up, and then we'll do the trace repair. Start with the easy one. That one done. Let's try and do this one. Get the grinder. That's good. Let's check it with the multimeter. So we're on continuity, which is the mode that beeps. Right, I'm going to check. Let's check that one first. That one's all good. Let's double check this one because it was a bit bent up. Yeah, that's all good. And then this one. Let's see if it's going to here. There to there. Yes, it is. Uh, let's just double check that that one's going to the top one. Yes, it is. Yeah, they were all good. This one went to round here. Is it that one? Yeah. So that is also good. Right. Well, assuming the chip is okay, which I don't actually know because I don't know where this chip's come from, and that should be good. I think I'm just going to add some solder mask onto those wires just to make sure they don't go anywhere. Mm 
Nice. Right, well let's pop it back together. Right, let's just make sure that it still comes on, first and foremost. And then we'll test to see whether the controller works via the USB. Okay, here goes. It still comes on. Excellent. Right, now I'm not going to stick the, the USB in while it's on, because I'm not sure whether that's what's making these things fail. So I'm going to turn it off, allow it to shut down, and then I'm going to put the controller in. Controller is now in. Right, here we go. Let's try it now. Come on. Right, we're on. Is it going to work? I'm going to press down. <laughs> yes, it does. Let's go for English. <laughs> nice. I thought Bubble Bubble 2 was rainbow stars, not parasol stars. What do I know? Rainbow Island, in fact. Anyway. Stupid rainbow stars parasol island. <laughs>